have the same symptoms as if they have a disc in their back located at L4, L5, or L5S1. They have problems that go into their leg and into their foot from their back and down into that area, but from below the knee down in the back of their leg. The only way you can really tell the difference is to be sure that they don't have a disc. And so these people who have symptoms and the neurosurgeon does not feel it's coming from their back and that they should not have back surgery, probably have compression of their sciatic nerve by a muscle that you said, which has a very funny name, the piriformis muscle. And it's a muscle that's pear-shaped, which is what that word means. And it uh, crosses the sciatic nerve and pushes it against a bone. To do that surgery, uh, you have to go through a big group of muscles. And if you injure the sciatic nerve, the patient can be worse, the same as with spinal surgery. You have to identify this muscle in a very deep hole because except for a few very slim people in the world, most people have a large buttock and the nerve is deep down in there. So it's technically hard to do. There are very few surgeons in America who do that. And uh, Tim is really uh, terrific at that dissection and finding that muscle. I think he has a series now of a thousand of these patients, which may be more than any other surgeon in America has. And he has really terrific results uh, with that.